Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video from Alan's Inventions. Today I'm going to be doing part 2 of the crypto mining rig. Uh, in this video I have all the parts, it's all assembled, it's up and running, I've had at least 48 hours now, and I'm making some money. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, it's assembly time. So, all right, so step one is I'm gonna put the processor in the motherboard as well as the cooler and I've put everything in here just for easier uh, storage until I still had all the parts. I don't have the video card yet. It should be here in the mail later on today. So here's a seller on processor, backplane, our RAM, two cables with the hard drives, manual, CD with the drivers, and then there's our motherboard. Who gives a crap about this? We don't need it. Alright, now. Take this thing off. Alright. There's our processor and then the little arrow. This arrow always lines up with that arrow. So, there we go. Steady, steady, steady. Boom, easy. Take off this cover. Boom, easy. Bam, easy. And then this guy already has some thermal paste. I should add a little bit more. I'm only going to add a few drops on there just because I feel what's on the fan is not sufficient. It's not going to be producing a lot of heat, but rather safe than sorry. So, just a little bit. There we go. That sounds like it's working. Alright, we're golden. There's that. And then we plop in our RAM right here. Oh, here, let me plug this guy in. CPU fan, bam. Alright, that was easy. Let's get rid of this trash and mount it on the chassis. Alright, so the motherboard is going to go right here. Just grab it by the CPU. If you guys are going to use the same chassis and um, just a word of advice, make sure that you get a cooler that's small because the first one that I purchased um, it was, this bar was going to be in the way, and this is just really for, uh, looks like structural support, I think, so let's not butt my head on the light, line this up, and it looks like there's, I think it should be down here, yeah, let's see, what are the right holes, okay, there we go. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. And it does come with the mounting screws right here. Cut that off. Boom, six Phillip heads. You gotta make sure to drop the first screw before you put it in. It's good luck, it's a ball of static off the carpet.
Alright, so I did some uh, eyeball measurements and it looks like if I uh, install the power supply and then actually remove this bar and install the power supply, I should be able to put this back on here after the power supply is installed. So let me try that. So I'm going to rotate this head, look at these handles, boom. Alright, so while I was waiting for the mail guy to show up with my uh, video card, I decided, hey, let's see if that monitor is going to work with it. And guess what? It's not. So, now what? Well, for setup purposes, I know it's working. I know it's booting, so that's a good sign. Alright, I didn't show you guys all the assembly just because it was easier to do it offline. There was a couple things I forgot, so I'll show you now. So, I forgot to plug in the CPU power cable, which is this guy right here. Um, that just runs to the power supply. Um, I did remove that bar that I was telling you guys about only because I don't have a riser yet and I don't need one since I only have one card. Um, so I just plugged in directly to the PCI slot. As you can see it's, uh, it's a big boy so it's heavy, it's big and my card was used so there's some dirt on it. But anyways, um, yeah it's running great. Let's go take a look at what the, ha the hashing rate is. Alright, let's get to the good stuff. So I got everything set up and running now. And you can see I'm getting close to 99 mega hashes per second. <clears throat> I will show you guys my settings. Uh, let's see. So basically I'm doing a minus 200 core clock, 2350 memory, uh, automatic fan, power limit 230. And then power draw is, oh come on, 267 watts. I'm currently going to test this for 24 hours to see how it operates. And I'll get back to you guys. Well, you'll just see the video and it'll be instant, but not for me. So here you go. Alright, quick 12 hour update. For some reason it just rebooted. Uh, it's pretty toasty in here. It's about 82 degrees outside. It's 9 in the morning. Um, and yeah, that's not good. So maybe the cooling is not adequate enough. I added that little fan just to pull away some of the hot air from there because it was it seems to be pooling right here. So I'm going to probably reverse that so it pulls it up and doesn't push the air down since these are exhaust fans. Exhaust vents. Do a quick temperature check. So, yeah, that's hot. 